about the uh, guy who, um, well, he went to Costco and he bought all the hand disinfectant. And he had bought like a rental truck, a great big truck, moving truck. And he loaded it all in and took it home and put it all in his garage. And then he uh, resold it all on um, Amazon. And the story is he made $100,000 in a week. Gee, I wish I had done that. Somebody wanted to know, what is the karma? Uh, I mean, is there really such thing as karma, number one? And number two, if there is karma, uh, what is the karma of doing that? Taking advantage of people when they're at their weakest. Uh, no karma. No karma whatsoever. It's pure business proposition. And um, you got an idea for making money. And, um, well, you made a hundred grand. Good on you. No karma. Why? Because the people that uh, are buying this um, hand sanitizer, um, are they really victims? Are they willing to pay with the market? is charging, which is probably triple what uh, Costco was selling it for, and uh, they got what they wanted. Or am I wrong? No, I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. Um, it's just simply supply and demand. And if you think there's bad karma in supply and demand, well, I mean, our whole economy is based upon supply and demand. If you can corner the market and monopolize the market, then the stock market will reward you with a high share price. No one's complaining yet. Maybe the karma is in the wallets of the people who overpaid for hand sanitizer. That's how they got their karma. They had to pay triple the going rate. I just wish somebody would complain and say, it's going to be horrible karma for this person. Because if you say that, then you've condemned the whole capitalist system. You're not doing that. It's simple markup. You know, buy something and mark it up 100%. That's what they do at the mall all the time. So, you know, why are you making a big deal out of somebody who sees an opportunity and um, takes advantage of it? Oh, I just want so many comments on this. <sighs> because I see these people. They're spreading this news and they're putting all this down. That bastard, that son of a bitch. And I'm looking at them, these people that are commenting and I'm going, what planet are you living on, you stupid freak? This is what goes on regularly before the coronavirus ever appeared. This is day-to-day -day business. And you're freaking out because one guy made a hundred grand on a killing because he saw an opportunity. You people aren't capitalists when it comes to coronavirus. But every other day of the year, every other day of your life, you're fine with it. Either you're fine with capitalism or you're not. There's nothing karmic about it. The karmic lesson is you people are too dumb. And everyone knows it. 
The other picture I just saw, uh, well, the government keeps saying, avoid crowds, avoid crowds, stay at home. And then there's the picture of the shopping mall, and there must have been a 100,000 people in line to get in to go and stock up for the quarantine. A 100,000 people in this picture. No one is avoiding crowds. They're bigger crowds than Super Bowl. What is the underlying theme of COVID-19 coronavirus 2020? There's got to be an underlying theme. No? You haven't watched enough of my videos. Please come back to my main page and watch some more of my videos and you'll come to understand what humans are all about. Because that's all I talk about. How fucking stupid humans are. Who think Planet of the Apes is crazy? Uh, it's a documentary on um, Planet of Humans. <laughs>